how is everyone? Right now you're watching Carly Phoenix. Today I am going to discuss my UDA camp experience which went very differently thanks to Corona. So that means we couldn't go to Auburn University, spend a the night there, eat a lot of food, and meet other dancers in like different schools and stuff. So I was kind of looking forward to that but thanks to Corona yeah, I knew this probably wasn't going to happen. So we stayed at our school, at the cafeteria, and we had these little blocks, which were our like assigned blocks, which had our names on it. And I got my new dance bag and three new tank tops for band practice rehearsal. And the tank tops are really are really cool looking they're really awesome but I can't show you all of them because one of them is hanging up to dry in my bathroom and two of them are dirty and full of sweat so the UDA camp experience the UDA camp took like the the whole weekend then Monday like Saturday Sunday and Monday I have this journal to help me through this video since I can't really like talk much you know because I stutter but here we go on Saturday we went to the cafeteria and then Sunday cafeteria and then Monday we went to our gym and then went on to the outside field in the back of the school so on Sunday we got three new three new tank tops as I said and a new dance bag which I was really excited about and as I saw the, the moment I saw the new dance bag and the three tank tops, I just picked them up and like hugged like hugged them around my arms and the dance bag. I hugged that around my arms because I love getting new things and I'm just really honored to be on my dance team, on, the, on my school dance team. So on Sunday, we warmed up and stretched with the UDA audio with this, with this woman like in the audio leading us to warm-ups well to make it feel like it's UDA but we still have I mean we still had fun even though we weren't at Auburn University excuse me we still had fun even though we didn't go to Auburn University and then we learned a lot of routines like our fight song um, the first time that I learned the fight song like I was gonna I was a rising junior we we learned that we had to do that for tryouts and then this year um, we revamped the fight song or like we kind of changed the choreography for fight song but some of the but some of the dance moves are similar but it's cool it still feels like a fight song and then we learned the spirit song and which was totally new to me like our dance coach told us we are gonna we're gonna change the fights we're gonna change the spirit song like completely so also like right after all of that we worked on a lot of stuff like turn techniques and like new jumps and then like toe touch technique we we all went not not all of us we went to the house of one of the dance team members and we had a lot of fun there. Our dance, our dance coach's daughter attended, and we made a lot of s'mores. We did a lip sync battle, and my group won. And we, we chose groups. We ch we chose who's gonna be in a group, like based on our squad leaders and dance captains. But I'm guessing one of the. Oh yeah, I think one of the dance captains, was there. But the dance captain that I'm talking about. I think right now she's at the beach. Yeah, I think she was I think she was at I think she was at the house. But there was also like <clears throat> there was also like like a bonfire with a lot of chairs in the backyard and there's there was a zip line that we took that we took turns on going and I I love the zip line. Mom wanted to pick me up earlier, kind of around seven thirty, so so I wouldn't be like the last person staying, but I think I ended up being the last person staying. But there was like actually a few girls that were that were still staying in the backyard, and I made a TikTok with 
with the with the house owner's sister, like like one of the dance team members I was talking about, she has a sister, and she and she and I made a TikTok together, and then later on, she her sister and I made a TikTok with the same audio, so that was like really cool. And on Sunday, we stayed at the cafeteria and we reviewed routines and and all that jazz. And then we learned hip hop too. Okay, don't get me wrong, I love hip hop. And then one of the squad leaders taught us hip hop. There are like five hip hop routines, apparently, in UDA hip hop one, two, three, four, and five. On Sunday, we learned hip hop two. And then on Monday, we learned Hip Hop 5. I'm going to get there later. And then my favorite part of Sunday was when we tried on sequins. I was, like, so pumped. Like, I, I couldn't wait. So we, like, changed into bathrooms and stuff. And then I, as, soon as, I got mine on, as soon as I got mine on, I went to the cafeteria and did a little model walk. I was, like... The field show is going to be my is going to be my favorite time. It's going to be my favorite part of of this coming year, and also the pep rallies. But I'm guessing field show and pep rally. But if I if I had to be specific, I am going to go with field show because that's like because that's like the ultimate that that's like in my opinion the ultimate performance. Like you're shiny, you get all these hair pieces. The sequins, the shiny, and the little gauntlet, and the little gauntlet, gauntlet hand sleeves, and you're gonna be under the Friday night. And on Monday, um, we got kicked out of the cafeteria because the cafeteria had to be cleaned. The floor had to be waxed of some kind. So, like, basically, the cafeteria had to be cleaned. So, the first few hours, we, the first few hours, we. We're at the gym learning hip hop five, and it's really hard. It's really challenging, but I I got it. But like, we need to work on the ending of it though. I'm still kind of waiting for that to happen, and I really want to. I kind of really want to get that. Really want to get that routine done. But hip hop five is supposed to be the hardest. What I meant to say was like hip hop one being the easiest and hip hop five being the off being the hardest. I don't know when we're going to learn hip hop one, three, and four, but I'm really excited of what's to come when we learn that. And outside, we still learned hip hop five, but like, I think we were, I think we were kicked out of the gym because of something. I'm not sure. Probably just to get us used to going outside. <laughs> so we had, so outside, we also had stations where where my squad leader was was teaching aerials and then like other tumbling stuff. Like I like I, I swear I got my aerial like beginning of this year, but it's been a while since I've had it and I think I can only do it on trampoline now. But if I got it on grass, that would be great. So I tried a lot of aerials on the grass and I'm and I'm like, but I thought I literally thought I was gonna get it. I I I hurdled the best I could. I swung my arms the best I could, but I'm just gonna assume that yeah, I, I still got my aerial, but I just need to recover and redeem myself and stuff. So one of the dance captains, I moved, I moved stations. So I, so one of the dance captains taught hip hip. <laughs> Hip hop skills, where we did like kip kip ups and head springs, and I think that's what we only. I think that's what we did, but we, but our dance coach encouraged us to like land our head springs with like different landings. Like on the head spring, it was like get on your head and then, and then whack your legs over and get into a right split. I mean. I'm gonna need a little bit of practice on that. station. Like, taught us how to do like jump splits. Like, I mean, the leadership team was actually teaching the new girls and the returners were like reviewing all this stuff. The new girls were learning this stuff. 
and maybe they like already have the aerials or other tumbling skills but like you, you, you get what I mean so my third station was jump splits and turning jump splits I can't really like demonstrate but if mom like videotapes me on a field show night and then I'm able to post it on YouTube then I'll show you what it looks like but it, it's on one of the songs it's kind of early but like a year ago like I've been seeing a lot of jump splits on field show nights like I always watch the dance team and then like in dancing dance etc on the on the spring mat I felt like ooh, that's really cool like I wasn't really nervous to do it but don't worry I, I was safe I didn't really get hurt I pointed my toes, I straightened my knees, I think. But, well, the back knee need, still needs some work. But, like, on the spring mat, I did it a couple times. But I, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, don't do that without, don't do that without somebody to supervise you. Or, like, well, maybe I was just being a show-off. But the turning jump splits, I still kind of need work on. But I still had a great UDA camp experience. Even though we couldn't go to Auburn, like that would have been great. But this week we are working on our field show choreography. And if mom can, can film me and I'm able to upload it to YouTube, then I will be so excited to show you. Thank you for, thank you for tuning in and listening listening in to this awesome experience. I hope I see you next week. Carly Phoenix out.